Hello everyone. So today's video is going to be a newborn must-haves for Kinsley. As we know, every baby is so different and I have a few products in here that I did not like with Riley that I love with Kinsley or that Kinsley prefers over what Riley preferred. So I really want to share those with you guys and why they're working for us this time around. I will have everything linked down below in the description box. Also comment down below what are your newborn must-haves. I love hearing from you guys and it's always very helpful for any other new moms that are looking through the comments. Give the video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get into what Kinsley has been loving. Okay, so just to let you know before we hop in, I have two daughters if you're brand new here. The first one is Riley, she is two and a half years old, and then Kinsley is my second one, and she's almost two months old, which is crazy, it is flying by. Okay, so the first product that I have here is one I'm really excited about, and I really wish I had this with Riley. This is from Vava. As you guys know, I love Vava. I actually have their baby monitor that I use upstairs. It is awesome. They're actually partnering with me on this video, so thank you to Vava for that. This is their smart thermometer, you guys. This thing is so cool. All right, so this is what the thermometer looks like. So this is the case of it right here. You just hold the button, it turns on, so it's all digital. You slide it open and you actually have the thermometer and the stickies on the inside. So this is actually the industry's very first stick-on thermometer. It does 24-hour monitoring. It is also FDA approved and it has been clinically tested for safety and comfort. This thing is so neat. So here is a thermometer right in here and then you have the little stickies that just come out. You just slide it in. You can leave it plugged in throughout the middle of the night. As you guys can see, it tells you the temperature right here. And then you also have the battery life of the thermometer and also the case up at the top. And then when you see the solid heart icon, that is when it's paired. This thing is really, really neat and handy, but I do wanna let you know that the most accurate way to take a temperature for a newborn and up to like about a year, I wanna say, is rectally. That's gonna give you the most accurate temperature. If you do it underneath the armpit, if you do it on the forehead, you usually just added degrees to that. That's what I was told from the doctor. But what I really like about this is it kind of gives you peace at night like if you know that they've been sick and they've been running a fever all day and you're like oh, I just really want to like you know check on them but you don't want to wake them up in the middle of the night either you can stick this on them and you can watch to see if their temperature is rising at all and it will give you an alarm sound if it is which is amazing so it's a great little thing just to have on hand just give you that peace at night and I definitely wish I had this with Riley so it's really easy to do as you guys can see the little stickies Right there, it even has like the steps for the numbers. So this is number one. So all you do is just slide this through here and then you pull off the stickies. So you pull off sticky one, it attaches to the thermometer. Then you pull off the sticky number two and it attaches to the thermometer on that side. And then this side will help also attach onto the baby or the child and you just place it right underneath the armpit and it just sticks to them all night and you can monitor their temperature that way. I am amazed. I'm telling you, like, this is such a handy little gadget right here that, again, will just keep your mind at ease. Definitely have another thermometer on hand for the rectal stuff. I know with those ones, all you do is you just add a little bit of, like, aquaphor at the tip, and you can just stick it in, and that way you can get an exact read for them there. But this will just also give you a peace of mind at night. I mean, I've had those nights where I got worried with Riley. I remember when she had the hand, foot, mouth. She had a really bad fever. I was so worried throughout the middle of the night. I wanted to go in there and check on her, but I didn't want to wake her up either. So this is a great little gadget for that, you guys. So again, thank you to Baba for partnering with me on this part, you guys. I'm going to have it linked down below. I definitely say check it out. You can use my promo code Life of Maddie to save some money off definitely recommend it. Let me know if you guys have ever tried this out or seen this before. This thing is so neat. For the next must have for Kinsley is one that I actually also did not have with Riley, but I got it for Kinsley this time. I ended up purchasing it because I saw that it was like 50% off on their website. So I like took advantage of that really good sale and is the Snuggle Me. This thing is so cool. I've been asked so many questions like, what do I like better, the Doc Todd or the Snuggle Me? We definitely have been using the Snuggle Me more than the Doc Todd this time around. I loved the Doc Todd with Riley, but the Snuggle Me just really kind of like hugs them a little bit better. And I like the fact that it's not as deep as the Doc Todd. So they kind of just like sit and rest in it. They definitely will grow out of it faster than the Doc Todd, but I feel like it's just a great little area that they can just kind of sit and lounge in and you can kind of take with you around the house. You definitely want to always be super, super, you definitely always want to be supervising them in it at all times, but it is amazing because they just sleep so, so well in it. And it's just a great little thing that you can just kind of 
you know, move around with you while you're getting things done. Also, if you end up picking up the Snuggle Me, make sure you get an extra cover and even the puddle pad. I really like those both because I do the puddle pad and then I do the extra cover on top. So that way when she spits up unexpectedly and it gets on there, I can throw those into the wash real quick and still be able to use the Snuggle Me underneath it, which is awesome. So definitely at least pick up an extra cover. It will save you. Okay, so next up is a swaddle and you guys, let me just tell you, this is a huge difference between both my girls. My first one, Riley, did not like to be swaddled. Like that girl was totally fine. She slept throughout the night. She loved to just like sleep like this where her hands were right up next to her head. Like, you know, that's like a newborn thing. Loved doing that. She never startled or woke herself up with the Moro reflex. You know, that's how they kind of like reflect and that kind of wakes them up. That's why you want to swaddle them because you can keep them to sleep for longer periods of time. Well, Riley was totally fine sleep sacks were good for her, did not have to swaddle her. Kinsley has to be swaddled. If I want to keep that girl asleep for a good amount of time, I have to swaddle her. Otherwise she will wake herself up with her moral reflex and she's a lot more sensitive to sound and light. So keeping her swaddled saves me. And the best swaddle that I have found for her, which is so funny because I could never swaddle Riley. Like I struggled so hard with it. And I found out why. It's because those Aiden and I swaddles are so hard to swaddle with. Those blankets, so hard to swaddle with. I recommend picking up these ones right here from Copper Pearl. These things are awesome. So they are nice and thin and they are huge, you guys. Like absolutely huge. Like I actually have this folded like a triangle right now because that's how you swaddle. So basically this is how big it is and it's nice and stretchy too so how i do it is i lay her down in it i bring this up to her shoulders so it's like this you know behind her and then i fold this one over tuck it under her as i have that arm down then i pull up the bottom tuck that in right there then i grab the other side and i swaddle this around and make it tight and it does not budge like she's in there so good and it's so easy to swaddle with it you guys like so easy and copper pearl these ones are so soft and they are just amazing amazing quality so i definitely recommend getting them they're also just great little blankets to have too on hand but i can just show you guys like how big it is so this is how big it is it is ginormous and it is the easiest thing to swaddle with so I'm telling you pick a couple of these up you will love them. This is all I've been using and I honestly never used them with Riley. Like I tried, I just never used them with Kinsley. They are my lifesaver. I have three of them right now. So I have two from Copper Pearl that I actually had with Riley. And then the other one is a new one that I bought when before I had Kinsley. And that one was from Little Sleepies, which is nearly identical to those ones from Copper Pearl. So either or, Copper Pearl definitely has a ton of really, really cute prints that I think you guys would really like. So definitely check those out. Some other products that I absolutely love from Copper Pearl is their car seat cover. That thing is awesome. I have one in that same print that I just showed you in her swap. Model. I used it for Riley. I'm using it for Kinsley. It is the best thing. Whenever you're out and about and you want to just kind of shield them from, you know, the environment and also the sun and everything, you just put those over and it just kind of shields them from like the wind and all that, which is amazing. So whenever we're out and I'm having to run errands or do anything with Kinsley, I have that little cover on her. So like when we go to the doctor's office, that cover's on her. So I love that. And then I also love their birth cloth. So these are so nice and so thick. Like I swear, these things have been so well used with Riley, but I love the fact that they are so thick so they really soak up any spit up and liquids amazingly. And they're also really soft too. So these are another thing that I love from Copper Pearl as well as their bibs. Get those bibs. If you have a little one that spits up a ton that has really bad reflux, those bibs will save you because again, they're so soft and comfortable. They fit perfectly on their necks to where they don't bunch up. There's some that just do not hang well. These ones hang perfect. And they're a little bit of the thicker side like this. So they just really, again, soak up that liquid so well and it will save their clothes. They saved me with Riley. So I highly recommend those ones. I love Copper Pearl, go crazy. They have some amazing products. Okay, so for another burp cloth that I love, this one is from Aiden and I, you guys. This thing is awesome. I love these ones too. It's kind of hard to say, like, if, do I like these ones more than the Copper Pearl ones? 
it's tough because I love how soft the copper pearl ones are. I love the prints of them and they soak up liquid so well, but these ones are also really, really good, you guys. These actually also turn into a bib, so you can do the little snap right here and boom. It just goes like that around their neck and it can help shield them from any spit up or even you can use it like when you're feeding them in the beginning, like you're introducing the solids. It's also great for that. I love how big they are. They just go right over your shoulder, has that perfect curve to it. So it just curves it and then boom, you can burp them right over your shoulders and protect yourself. <laughs> Kinsley is now very much like when she burps, she definitely is spitting up a little bit more. So this is saving me. But yeah, I love these ones for my diaper bags because they're a lot thinner, so they're a little, they don't take up as much space in my diaper bag as the Copper Pearl ones. So it's hard for me to say if I like these ones more than the Copper Pearl. I might like these ones just a little bit more than the Copper Pearl. Okay, so the next must have. I am like kicking myself in the bottom for not having this with Riley. Oh my goodness, this is the Duna car seat, you guys. This thing is amazing. It is saving my life, and I get so many people that ask me about this car seat when they see it. It is so cool because it turns into a stroller, and I don't mean that you have to pull out the frame of the stroller in the back of the car and then clasp in the car seat. I mean that you take this car seat out of the car, out of the base, and you just hit a button and boom, the wheels pop out. So it literally makes my pickups and drop-offs with Riley at school so easy, so easy. I'm not having to like carry a car seat to the door and I get so many looks at from parents and I even get asked about them because they'll just be, they'll literally be carrying the car seat and they just give me this look like, They've never seen anything like this before. And then one dad told me, he's like, oh my God, I need that thing. Cause he was just like trying to get his toddler out of the car while he's trying to hold a car seat of his other one. And then he's just like, oh my God, I need that. And I'm like, yeah, it saves me. So I get Kinsley out of the car first, turn it into a stroller, bring it around to Riley's side. I get Riley out and then I make it go in the lowest settings and Riley actually pushes it to the door of her school, which is the cutest thing ever. But this thing has just saved me and I really wish I had this with Riley because it's so awesome and it makes life so easy, like so easy. I even love the little attachment that goes in front of it that you can put stuff in it. I'm gonna do a whole like diaper bag video because I do a diaper bag and then I also have this little compartment that I hook onto the Duna and that has everything in it, like my backups of everything for Kinsley that I leave in the car at all times. So I only take that out if we have like longer outings, but it just clips onto the front and it's just super, super great and awesome. And I cannot recommend this thing enough. It's an infant car seat, so it will hold up a child that is either 35 pounds first, which I doubt they'll hit 35 pounds first. I believe they'll hit 32 inches before they'll hit 35 pounds. Cause Riley is about to, she's about 35 to 38 pounds right now. And she's two and a half, but she's over 40 inches tall. So I think they'll definitely hit the 32 inches beforehand. And then you have to move them out of that. Just like any other infant car seat that you would get. But it is awesome for Riley in this one. She would have fit in this until she was 11 months old when she hit 32 inches. So just to kind of give you guys a reference there, and my daughter is really, really tall. She's a two and a half year old that is like the size of a four year old. So yeah, just to kind of let you give you guys like a little thing there. Most kids will probably be in this past a year if they're like on the average side, I want to say. <laughs> but it is a must have, like do not second guess it. You will get it and you'll be like, oh my God, just, it's life changing. It also comes in different colors. I just have the black one because I got mine through Bye Bye Baby and they only had the black, the gray, and the red. And I really wanted the pink one, but you could only get the pink one at on their website or um, Pottery Barn Kids. So I'll link one of those down below where you get like a, a wider assortment of colors and you can always find like a coupon code too online. So definitely check those out. It is awesome and a great little travel stroller too. Okay, so next up, we all know that newborns have tummy problems. If you're soon to be like new mom, that you haven't had your baby yet, I'm warning you now, every baby is going to have tummy problems. So it'll be about, I wanna say it starts going away around three to four months old when their digestive systems mature a little bit more, but they all have tummy issues. They just get that built up gas, they arch their backs, they all go through it. So what really helps ease it for them and kind of minimize it a bit 
are these drops right here. This little guy right here will save you. I actually had this with Riley, but I didn't use it as much as I used the Mommy's Bliss one, but I actually found that I like this one more this time around. And this is the BioGaia. It's for colic and digestive comfort. This has probiotics and vitamin D in it, which is what you want if you are nursing your little one. So in breast milk, we do not have vitamin D in our breast milk if you are giving formula, they are getting vitamin D in their formula. But in breast milk, they do not get it. So you wanna be making sure that you are doing vitamin D drops. And then also probiotic drops are a must have because that really helps comfort their digestive systems and those tummy problems. So you just do about five drops of these a day. I honestly, you could put it right on the nipple or you could put it right on the passy. And that's what I do is I shake it and I squirt a little bit and I put a little bit on the passy and then I stick it in her mouth and that's how she takes it. So you can also do the drops in a bottle too. Any way you wanna do it, you can do it. You just do it once a day for about five, I think, yeah, five drops. Yep, get five drops once daily. So this thing, amazing. And I love it that it's just a two-in-one product so you're not having a bunch of different things that you're having to give them. All right, so another little must-have that has been working amazingly for us is this Mommy's Bliss Baby Gas Relief right here. This has been working so, so good. For Riley, it wasn't really the gas relief drops that worked great for her, it was the gripe water. She, she loved it, like she would just down it and love it, like this girl loves anything like that. But Kinsley, when I give her gripe water, I do like a little bit, I kind of set her up and I'll just do a tiny bit and then she just acts like I'm poisoning her. Like she does not like the taste at all of it. I, ha I can give it to her a little bit more easier now than I could in the past. I just have, it's a very like slow dispense and I do like one third of the dosage for her. <laughs> but honestly, this has worked the best for her. I give her a little bit of this after the feeds, just kind of help get the gas out and it works great. So every baby is different. So I would definitely get, you know, the gripe water and get a gas relief drop and just see what works for them and kind of go from there. Now that I know that this one works, I bought so many boxes of this stuff and I have like one downstairs. I have one on my nightstand. I have one in my diaper bag just to kind of help ease her tummy issues. But she is starting to get a lot better with her tummy. It, her tummy was really like kind of fussy. She was really fussy with her tummy in the very beginning. But once I cut out tomatoes and anything acidic, it really, really limited the fussiness with her tummy and also these really, really help us. So definitely have those on hand and give them a try and see if they'll work for your little one. Okay, so next up is a Passy and a Passy Grip here. So the first one is the Avon Ultra Air Passy. This is the only Passy that Kinsley likes right now. And this was also the only Passy that Riley liked at a young age too. Um, Riley never took the Soothe, did not care for that. Kinsley, would kind of take the soothe in like the first, like I want to say first month. Now she won't take it at all. Like she spits it right out. She's not really the biggest passy baby to be honest, which is fun for me because this is such a good little soothing tip that they could like a self soothing thing that they could do to get themselves back to sleep. So it kind of sucks, but if she does take a passy, it's only this one right now. She loves it. And I definitely recommend getting a pack of these ones and having them on hand with you because so far now, it's the only passy that my two daughters would take. And then also it's like the only passy that my nephew would take too. So this is just an awesome, awesome pacifier that I think will work for majority of kids just because I've seen it work for majority of them. The other thing that I like here is from Ryan and Rose. And I tried their passy for her. She did not like it, unfortunately. But I really like the Passy Clip. I actually want to order another one because I like how little it is. It's nice and short and it's little. It's not too long like the Lulu Lollipop ones I have. I think those ones are great like to hook onto like a car seat or to just have when they're older. But this one is just great in the beginning. It's just it's not as bulky and stuff. So they have some really cute colors and like different designs of colors and stuff on their websites. I think they're probably doing a sale here soon or they probably are doing like a Mother's Day sale like everyone is doing. But yeah, just an awesome passy grip that I definitely recommend picking up one of those and then also getting just a pack of these on hand. I think they'll work for you because I've seen them work for every baby so far. Okay, so next up is a carrier and this is the Ergo Baby Embrace. Oh my goodness, so Ergo Baby sent me this and I didn't even know about this carrier. I don't know if they had it when I was pregnant with Riley or I had Riley. With Riley, I love the Boppy Comfy Fit because it was so easy for me and comfortable to put her in, but 
Trying this Ergo Baby one, oh my gosh, it does not have all that fabric that the Boppy Comfy Fit has. It is so nice and lightweight. It's easy and compact to like just throw in your stroller and take with you on the go um, if you need a baby wear later on or just like keep it in places. Like, I love it because Kinsley loves to be carried. She loves to be in the carrier. She's just a big snug, she's my cuddler, she's my snuggler, she loves that. And there are mornings that she just will not go to sleep, she does not want to be put down. So, and if I have to like handle with Riley, my toddler, I just put her in the carrier, she passes out right away, and I can go and do everything that I need to do. I even do that if I want to go take Riley on a walk and her bike and stuff like that, it allows me to, to handle both of them. And it is the, best and most easiest thing in the world. I definitely recommend getting it. They have different colors. I really want to get the blush pink one because of how much I use it. I'm like, I really want the pink one right now. Um, but the one that I have is the gray one. It's also beautiful. They have a black one, but highly recommend it. You can even get like a 20% off of it using like a Bye Bye Baby coupon on their website. Check it out. I'll have a link down below. Get that. It is the most easiest one to get them in and out of. I have this guy again, and if you guys do not know what this is, you should if you're about to give birth to a baby. This is called the Baby Shusher. It is a miracle worker. I have one now upstairs, and I have one downstairs that goes with me in and out of the car. <laughs> because also, Kinsley was not is not the best in the car. If the car stops, she hates it. If the car goes, she's good. So it's constant like, sometimes if she's awake when I'm taking Riley to school, it is a sleep as I'm going and then I get stop at a red light and it's like a wah, and then it's a sleep as I go and it's a stop at a red light wah, the whole time <laughs> and it sucks. So I now put this in the car with me and it is awesome. It actually really helps calm her and like keep her asleep and it just goes everywhere with me. So it's just a shusher. You just twist it and it makes you can also change the lengths, make them shorter or longer, all that fun stuff. It is awesome, it's a lifesaver, it puts them right to sleep. And also it's great like if you're transferring them from one area to the next, you have it going and you keep them close to you and you just kind of set them down like that, like with them next to you and you put them in and you have this going and it just kind of helps keep them asleep. So telling you this will go with you everywhere you go. Love that thing. I, it's the one thing that I get for everyone when they have like a baby shower or like they're having a new baby I get them that and I'm like this will save you. Just listen. It will save you All right So next up is a bottle warmer and I have tried a few different bottle warmers now and the best one hands down is the munchkin fast bottle warmer Babies are not patient at all as we know if you have one and they are not patient <laughs> So when I need to warm up some breast milk, like say if I need to give her a bottle, it is the quickest thing because it literally warms up breast milk like that within under a minute, you guys. I'm telling you, like 30, 40 seconds, boom, it is nice and warm, perfect for her. It's the quickest thing in the world. You just toss some water in, boo, and hit the button and you're good. It is awesome. The only thing that sucks is that you can't defrost or like do frozen breast milk with it. You have to do something from the refrigerator or like, you know, room temperature to warm it up. So that is the only down part to it. I really don't defrost a whole lot of breast milk anyways from the freezer. So for me, it works out great. If you want a good one for when you defrost breast milk, get the baby Brezza one. That is the one that I have for downstairs if I do have to do that. Cause I definitely have my supply already kind of built up in there as my backups, but yeah, so that's a good one to defrost. Like it does everything. It does defrosting from the fridge, room temperature, it does it all, but it takes a lot longer with those ones. The Munchkin one is like super quick. It saves you, especially in the middle of the night if you have to warm a bottle and you're just tired and you're just like, I just want to get this baby fed. It will save you, so get that one. All right, so now getting to swings. So I've tried a couple different things with Kinsley that have worked for us that did not work for Riley, and then some stuff that I didn't even try with Riley. So the first thing right here is I finally found how to get the swing working for Kinsley, and it is the Fisher Price swing that I have I had with Riley. With Riley, she loved to go front to back. That's how she liked to be rocked. She did not like going from side to side, which is why the mom room did not work for us. Well, this little girl that I have now is different. She likes the opposite. She does not like to go back to forth. She likes to go from side to side. So 
That's how I figured out to get the swing working for her now because now she likes it and it has to be on the lowest setting. So it just kind of like rocks her like that. She's totally good because she also, I figured that out because I'm like, she likes the Mamoru and Riley didn't like the Mamoru. So, and it's that motion. So I'm like, let me change this over on the Fisher Price swing and that's awesome. So it's great that on the Fisher Price swing, you can definitely do two like different ways because every baby is different so that is great so i finally got that one working for us so for her the mamaru works out great so i have the mamaru upstairs awesome love it now for her and riley did not like it i would just use it for something to sit riley in <laughs> because she didn't like it moving um and then also another thing that she likes is the nuna leaf so nuna sent us over the, their nuna leaf grow which actually grows with them so riley can sit in it too it sits up to 130 pounds so riley's been even sitting in it as well and it's something that you can just kind of keep around i really like that one because it doesn't have to plug into the wall. It literally just has this like swaying motion, like a falling leaf, and you just have to tap it and it just sways on its own. And then it kind of like slowly slows down after a while and you just tap it again, super easy. And it's like, you can easily transport it throughout the house too. It's not even that heavy either. So I really like the Nuna Leaf Grow. I tried the Bouncer with Baby Bajoran Bouncer. Kinsley is not the biggest fan of it. Like she'll, she'll sit in it for a while, but then she'll be over it. So I'm wondering if she's gonna like that as she gets a little older but I think it's because it's that that motion that I don't know that forth back and forth motion that she doesn't like so it's probably what it is <laughs> so we'll see if that will end up working for us as she gets older but right now it's a Fisher Price swing that goes from side to side like this at the Mamaru and the Nuna Leaf those are working for us and they're doing great so yeah it's just again it's each baby has their preference. Okay, so next up are some clothes, and I hated these with Riley. And with Kinsley, I am obsessed with them, you guys. And they are the gowns. Oh my goodness. So I did not like these with Riley when she was a newborn because I think she was so skinny that the diapers didn't really hug her super, super well and she would always leak out of them. And whenever I had her in a gown, because it didn't hold it in place, because I ended up just putting bodysuits on her, um, it didn't hold it in place, so then she would leak. And Kinsley is a lot more solid and a lot more round, so I don't have to worry about that problem with her. But these just save me in the middle of the night. This one is from Kissy Kissy. I love these. The fabric is so soft. I love the fact that it has the hand covers right here. You can also make it into just little legs, like two-piece legs. Like you just unsnap it and then snap this side together and snap this side together and boom, you've got yourself like a, a jumper or like a romper. So... It's great, it's versatile, it's awesome. It makes my nights so much easier. I have actually been loving these even more than the Magnetic Means because the Magnetic Me, I have to get her, her feet out of it and everything. This one, I just pull up, change the diaper, pull down, pop on. Like that's how I, it's just so easy. So I actually have, I think I have three of these ones and I get really sad once those three are dirty because I'm like, Ugh. I gotta do laundry again because I love these for the nighttime. So again with Kinsley right now, so I don't have the luxury to have to be able to put her into like, you know, two piece outfits and all that, like bodysuits, leggings, like socks. I did that with Riley and it was awesome and it was so much fun. But when I'm having to just struggle so many different things at once right now, I need ease. I need just quick and easy if I need to do a quick diaper change. So some of my favorite footies that I love, this one is from Petite Lem. I get so many DMs asking me about this one right here. It is so cute. Um, you can get it from Bye Bye Baby. I think they have it on sale there. But I love the fact that again, it has a little cover over her hands so she can't like scratch her face. And these ones are great because it actually has the double zipper. So it has a zipper at the bottom, so you just zip up and then you can pop their legs out, do your diaper change, and then zip back down. So you're not having to take the whole thing off, which is great. So I highly recommend the Petite Lem. Those are great. Um, I feel like they run, a, I feel like Petite Lem run a little small, but it's also, Kinsley is just growing really fast. This girl's about to go into three to six months, like three months now is almost too small for her. Um, another great one too is the Kite Baby. These ones are so soft and so thin. So these ones also have, they don't have like the footies on them, but you can get ones with footies. It also has the double zipper at the bottom. So again, it makes it super easy for those fast diaper changes. 
So this is one that I really, really like. But they have like some solid prints. They sell these ones at Nordstrom's and also on their website. So check those out. Another great one is from Little Sleepies. And these can actually stay with them for some time. And the reason why is because if you could see, it turns into, it has a footie, but you could take off the footie and their feet can come out. So they're not like too small on them. So if they start getting a little short, you can just undo that part right there and it will work for them. And it's really stretchy, thin material. So they last for them for like, honestly, a couple sizes, which is awesome. I do wish they had a little bit more neutral prints. They have very loud prints. This is one of my favorite ones from them. As you guys have seen her in this one so many times. Um, I love the rainbows. And then again, it also has the double zipper at the bottom. So it makes it easy for those diaper changes. So I love Little Sleepies. Great little place to shop there too. They also have those swaddles like I was telling you guys about. But yeah, so I love those. And they also have the little folds over the hands as well. But those ones right there are like my favorite like footies for just like every day. All right, so next up are some diapers that I've been loving here, you guys. And they're so soft. Like I just feel them. I'm like, oh my God, these are so soft. So this is from a brand, I think they're called Coterre. I think that's how you say it. I say Coterie, Coterie, because it has an IE, but I don't know if it's Coterie or Coterie, but I will have them linked down below. They have a delivery service for them, so they deliver really quickly. You can have it on a whole little subscription thing to where they'll just like keep sending them to you and they'll send them right to your door. But these ones are so nice and soft. It keeps their bottoms really dry. It holds everything in. So these have actually been like my favorite, favorite diapers. I've never heard of them before. They sent me over a bunch of packs, which I am so, so thankful for because I have been obsessed with these. Little Kinsley is now nearly out of a size one. I think I'm actually going to be moving her up to size two here shortly. Um, because she's just, she's growing so fast. Okay, so next up is another lounger that I wanna talk about, and this one is the Boppy Lounger. This is one that I actually used a lot with Riley as well, and I use it downstairs. I really like this one because it has a little bit of an incline into it, so it is good for babies who do have reflux. Um, it's just a great little lounger. I keep this one now upstairs for Kinsley. I kept it downstairs for Riley because I did the Doc Ta upstairs and then the Boppy downstairs but I keep this one upstairs with me because literally I just kind of, it has a little handle on it. So I'll just kind of like pull her like a little magic carpet like through the house because it's, I have wood. So it just slides really easily. So I'll go from my room to Riley's room with it. And I love it because it helps me get things done. Like if Kinsley won't stay in her bassinet, and sleep when I have to give Riley a bath. I'll put her in that so that way she can hang out and just see me and then she'll be so much better. Like even if I do Riley's bedtime routine where we read a book in bed, I can lay Kinsley right there on the ground in the lounger. I have her looking at us so she sees me. She's also getting the book too because I'm reading those to Riley. So it just is a lifesaver for me upstairs. So I love to have that lounger. Like honestly, you wanna have like little gadgets, like if, especially if you have a two story house, it makes your life so much easier. I just love finding little gadgets and things that can make my life run more smoothly. So that's what this has been. I keep that one upstairs and Riley, like if I accidentally leave it in her room at night, she'll come bring it to me <laughs> the next morning and be like, mom, you left this in here. And she'll go put it in its little spot in the room. So it's so cute, but love, love, love that lounger. For the next product is the Hatch Baby Rest Plus. So there's two of them. There's the Rest and then there's the Rest Plus. I had the regular Rest with Riley because he didn't have the Plus one out yet. And I got the Plus with Kinsley. So I have that one in my bedroom right now. And that thing is so cool. If you're trying to decide between both of them because the Plus is more money than the regular one, get the plus, splurge for it, you will love it. Because what's awesome about it is that you can actually unplug it so it charges. So you can take it with you around the house. And it does all different noises, does different colors to soothe them. And then it also is a two-way monitor. So if you wanna listen to what's going on in that room, I can just go right into the app and I can listen and I can also talk. Amazing, so yeah. Highly recommend that guy. I finally just plugged him in and started using him and I'm like, why didn't I do this sooner? This thing is so good. And Kinsley loves the TV static noise that goes shh, because it almost sounds like a shusher. So I just play that for her when I leave her in the bassinet, when I have to go do things in the house, just to like give her a nap. Um, it's just awesome. So, and I love the fact that it also has a digital clock on the front. So in the middle of the night, I can kind of look there instead of grabbing my phone 
and see what time it is in the middle of the night so I know like how she's like how long she's sleeping for and when her each feeds have been. So yeah, highly recommend that one. Get it. It's bomb. All right, so those were all of Kinsley's newborn must-haves, you guys. These are the products that have been making my life run a bit more smoothly right now and have just been working so great for us. I will have everything linked down below that you guys can check out. Also, a big thank you to Baba for partnering with me in this video. Definitely check out their smart thermometer, you guys. This thing is awesome. It is so cool, and it will just give you just a peace in the middle of the night when your little one is sick. So definitely recommend checking that out. I'll have that one linked at the top. You can use my promo code Life of Maddie to save some money off. And yeah, so don't forget to leave your guys' newborn must-haves in the comments down below. Give the video a thumbs up, and I will see you all in my next one.